hearing more coming from down here than I thought I was going to hear from up there. Yep, there it is. There's eyes, or a pair of eyes, sorry, two eyes. It is, he's real good at not blinking. Real good. Look at that trail right there that goes down. It's broken. It's been, it's been used consistently. Like, this is so steep, I gotta hold on the trees just to... Just to not slide down. Everything, everything's telling me we gotta go down. I'm looking forward to that part. Let's see if there's a better way. I don't know why we have to get off this hill. I'm not positive. Chipmunk running up that log. It's <clears throat> actually a huge snap there. Little all the excess stuff that's laid up in there. There's a lot of chipmunks running around up on, up on this fall down tree or knock down tree. Alright, 
gotta go look under there. Seeing, seeing quite a bit. That's some people shit, I think. I don't think that was a sound. I think that was people working. <clears throat> I was trying to find, I was literally trying to find a place that we could be alone with them. And I can hear them now. Okay, your people talking. They have to be way through there though being loud and obnoxious or they're working so they have to be loud it sounds like they're working with equipment it's nothing about people I don't want to come out here. you guys are the only people I want to be talking to when it comes to these guys I can literally see look you could see how can they scale that like how can they go up that it's so, so like, so crazy steep. Unless you go right down this log. And that's what I was trying to get at, trying to get at down here. To look at what they did this for. And it looks like that's the answer. It looks like that. It looks like this up here is covering up the underground. Right in there. Try and get closer. Exactly, exactly what I thought was gonna happen. It was gonna just take me down. Look at that, just look at that. As soon as you get down here in this creek bed. Oh man, look at this. I'm at their disposal now. Now I'm at their disposal. this tree bent over. Probably sit right up in here. not do that. Look, it goes right up through. It's hard to see probably. These trees are berry covered. Covered in berries.
I'm not seeing the tunnel under I thought I was going to see. See how big it is. Hopefully, you can see me. I'm trying to give you the size, size to scale. Right. There's a dead blue jay under here. There's a couple of dead blue jays. Sorry, avert your eyes if you don't like that. Couldn't tell you why. I'd have to say it got into a fight with a falcon or a, or a hawk. But uh, I don't know how it ended up down here, under under the log. That's the interest. That's the part that interests me. How did it get there? I've actually found a bird with with a ripped off head and left right at one of the entrances. And people always go right to Bigfoot, but it's not, it's not them. It's not them. They ain't often birds for no reason. Birds give, birds give away locations on things. <laughs> Bigfoot ain't gonna be the one that kills him for it, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I did want to go down there, but I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with that bird as an omen. That uh that the others are lingering. <clears throat> so we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay in the squatch zone. Not, not interested in common areas today. comes all the way over here and it goes right goes right under goes right under this big old one here just to give you a sense just to give you a sense this is how big it is something something big reached up there Something real big. That's like how we snap a toothpick. Look at that. Snap a pencil. Break a stick. It's a full blown tree. That's how we know we're in Sasquatch territory again. 
that didn't sound like people, but like I said, it doesn't sound like it again, but we're gonna we're moving away from that, so you know what? Look at this. Alright, avert your eyes again. There's more more dead blue jay. More dead blue jay. Unreal. That's a different one, obviously, because the other one, there was two under there. That might be part of the second one, I don't know. But a lot of people might think it's crazy because, like, everything you hear but about Bigfoot and whatnot. But I'm, I'm always happy to stay in there, in their areas. It's where I'm comfortable, it's what I know, well, what I know most about. Nice, beautifully pristine rock. Pretty symmetrical on all sides. Great indicator. Of course, there's a little jungle gym coming down. Another whole tree, dead leaves on it. Comes down, connects all the way down. And then it literally goes straight across this path and it hits that one. So it's like, there's more here too. Huh? Look at this big old one. You might be like, oh, that's storm damage, right? Because that thing was down. But take a look around. There's two tree snaps in a row. The double tree snap's huge. That one snapped two on there and brought down to Ben and Tuck in there. These, these, that tree and that tree are Ben and Tuck under this log. Huge tree snap right there. All that there. We're literally right in the mix. So, to some people, they'd have fear about being here. There's another tree snap. And those are really high, as you can see. That one's like three feet off the ground, but those are like, those are up there. Really up there. This one's really impressive. Cause that one's a big tree and it snapped, but, but this one's really impressive to me cause it's so big and it snapped low. So something, I'll, I'll tell you my theory, the lower they can snap it, I feel like that's harder resistance the lower you go. So to me, the lower the snap is the stronger, the stronger the, the, the Sasquatch. So it could be these big, big tree snaps, could be a show of dominance, a show of, of size, uh, something to that effect. my theory. One of them anyway. Even that, that one's... That's cool. That one snapped and it goes up and field goals up in there. Same day, once around the corner here. I don't even know what that is, but like it's near the water tower, so I'm guessing it's something to do with that. But uh, I, don't know, I never really got too close to it because I just know fence equals people, so I try to try to stay away. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's water in there. Look at that. We're gonna, we're gonna actually take a peek. I hear people over there working, but we're gonna take a peek. Double sided driveway, locked. Can you see what I mean? There's water in there. Alright, just guys in a truck over there. Town or state, probably. Those brick buildings are indicators of like state or town or government buildings. So. There's your water source. Because there isn't any until you hit the beach, really. Well, actually, it's not, that's not true. It's not true. There is a good, good spot really close that they use. We're always there, actually. It's not far. I have a lot of great footage from up and through these hills. So this is where I'm gonna finish. Tree snaps with a bend into it. You say your bird's chirping again. kind of upsetting. I hope you guys aren't too upset with me for showing that, but I mean, it happens. It happens. That's random. That's that water supply area right there. It looks like a big Olympic-sized swimming pool with a bunch of stuff going through it. So I don't really know exactly what that is. I'm sure some of you are going to laugh at me and be like, yo, oh, that's that, but at the same time, I don't have Google at my fingertips and I don't really use it, so I kind of just... I either get up there and figure it out or I just let it go. Actually on a game trail right now. Oh, so, so here's what I'm gonna. Oh, this hasn't happened in a while. <clears throat> White birch broken up like this is um, not an accident. It's on purpose. So alpha males, at least here on Long Island, my alpha males, everywhere I go, they take the white birch trees and they rip them out and they break them in pieces. And they scatter them around and they make a perimeter. See where it was? They ripped it out of there and threw, scattered it all over here. It didn't break just all this way. So I'm literally gonna follow it and see what happens. There's another little piece. Look, boom, boom, too easy, look. Too easy. Big ass foot impressions, big ones right there. 
That's a big, that's a big, big dig up spot right there. Like something big walked through it. But look again. It's white birch, white birch. Big pieces of white birch there. Forming a V. Here. Here, here. There's another one knocked down in half. Laid that way. So he's literally marking, he's literally marking his spot. And I'm right up in the middle of it. So what I'm going to do is. I'm actually going to gift him on this high point of the, uh, all I have is an apple, really. But I'm going to gift him on that high point. Look, that, that white birch, look, knocked it off. It fell backwards, so, apparently. And then went down. And stuff laid on top of it. Big impressions, I'm just literally following them through. Glass bottles, green. Brown. More glass bottles. They're all over the place. Oh, there's more white birch. Look, laid in there. Laid that way. Laid that way. This could be the edge of his, this could be the edge of his little, his little, little area. That's a little area. But I don't think that could be possible. I don't think that's it. Unless he's just calling it all the way up and down. There might be more. There might be more up the hill or down the hill. I'm just, yep, here's more. And granted, I get it, white birch is weak and it, it dies, like it falls apart easy. So I get that aspect of it, but it's the way I've seen it laid around like that everywhere. Boom, here we go again. So here's its original spot. And it's laid all different ways. Another one over there. There's a whole bunch of it laid down up there. A whole bunch. So he's got a bigger area than I thought. You can see the white on the ground. He's down here somewhere. It's just a matter of... It's just a matter of finding him. I would imagine he's down there. Watching these guys work over there. Another green glass bottle. It's not it's not an accident. It's very, very common. I actually have a crazy, crazy cool picture from from up there. There's, it's up on an abandoned building balcony. It's not Bigfoot related, sorry, but um super super cool. one of those all white everythings that I keep seeing. I actually just posted one with you guys on the page. I don't know. I think I did throw it on the channel too cuz I'm trying to I'm trying to bring bring pictures there too, so And then those woods go all the way back on that side too. There's wood line, there's wood, not wood line. This isn't wood line. I'm used to wood line, this is woods everywhere. I'm actually sure. We'll go back to that abandoned spot real quick. It's over there, but I don't want to get spotted by these guys. Let's go this way. Not supposed to be on this property here. Not per se. I'm not supposed to not be, but I'm not supposed to be. 
It's a it's a tough line, and I'm not trying to incriminate myself, but it's a it's a, it's a thin line. It's a very thin line. Oh look, there's a water source in there too. I forgot about because it was winter when I was here. It was full blown winter when I was here. But it was abandoned, the building I was talking to you about, but there's some people doing stuff there today. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. It's a burnt, a burnt beehive or something. See how that's... Passenger plane. See it? Watch. Right up. Slowed down, too. Craziness. You could hear it. I don't know if you guys heard it bogged down. So, basically, what we're going to do is get the fuck out of here. It's only a matter of time before the Blackhawks show up and the vans, probably. So, it's time to go. I really wanted to show you some of this stuff, but it's all, it's all relevant. It's all for another day. It's all here. It's not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. But that's like stuff that goes underneath. And there are lots of, there's even lots of man-made tunnels here, so. This big ass X is still here. Nobody touched this, that's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Ow. That plane's circling back. So this was the first X I ever really stood on. This was in my early, early days. Really early days. And I really drew a lot of... Look at that. Look at that impression there. Something big went just like that. Right here. If you see it, this comes in. And that one comes in. And from overhead... From overhead... You could look down and see this big old X. I'll tell you, it's a lot of a lot of beautiful stuff comes out of these things. A lot. So there's your <clears throat> there's your shield I was telling you about. So right there is that that place that they can see they they're working at, and then right here is a shield they could stand right behind. Peek out, poke out, whatever. Oh, it is abandoned still. It's not the one I was talking about. This is it. This is the abandoned one I was talking about. And I have I have a great picture of something up on that up on that roof, like that balcony, right in the window or on outside the window. 
whatever, a couple of good pictures. But again, that ain't Bigfoot. Swinging hard, really hard. All right, guys, tree snap right up here to the edge. So I'm sure this is a good access building right here. Pristine rock right at the edge. Oh, a squirrel. That's cool. That's really cool. I actually painted them one of these. I painted them one of these ones. Truly, truly cool. Truly awesome. It was just like that actually. It looked identical. Looked almost identical to that. All right. All right. Let me take it with me. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'm gonna see where this road, I'm gonna see where this road takes me over here. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a great day. Talk soon.